Today, we're gonna to be making a sandwich with several ingredients. French bread, mayo, ham, manchego, del ducha prosciutto, baby spinach, hearts of romaine, as opposed to the liver, it's a very important distinction, and salami from Kroger. Uh, full disclaimer here, I was inspired by uh, LGR Foods, fantastic channel, I highly recommend you check it out. Um, I absolutely love uh, what Clint does over there. Mine's not going to be as classy, though I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So, I worked at a Subway for a few years. I mean, about a year. Yeah, not a few years, about a year. And uh, let me tell you, it was, uh, you know, it was... It was fun. I actually had a lot of fun making sandwiches, and I have since been honing my sandwich making skills, and I intend to use them to their fullest potential. Now, I was going to add some, uh, sprinkle some green onions, but uh, we're out, and I couldn't find any at the store, so well, we're going to have to cut this bread down to size. Now, personally, I do prefer the uh, so uh, or the, the harder, like sort of crunchier bread, but um, this is what they had at the store. So, very fluffy. Got the bread knife. Just gonna cut it about in the middle. Just like that. Again, generally like sort of a crunchier, a little bit flatter bread, but that's okay. So, set that aside. Let's get this cut right down the middle. And we can pat it down a little bit, just a little bit. Decompress that without crushing it. Don't want to crush it. Just want to make it a little bit more compressed. <laughs> it's so funny. Why? It's like a, it's like a mattress. Which is nice. I mean, I like the fluffiness, but again, not really what I'm going for here. So we're just gonna decompress that just a little bit. I'm aware this may not be a proper bread cutting etiquette. But you know what? That is okay. Look at that. Wow. That's perfect. So, first thing we're gonna do is add a little layering of olive oil. And uh, of course, we're gonna wanna spread that around so it, so it soaks into the bread because otherwise it's just going to roll off and honestly you really don't want that to happen just makes a mess oils a pain in the butt to clean up all right so now we are going to lay down some of the manchego first i have to obviously open the package this stuff is expensive but man is it worth it i love me some manchego cheese it's got a sort of say sour it's not quite oh it smells good and I'll get the cheese grater because this is not a sliceable cheese also I don't even have a cheese slicer so slicing cheese is a absolute pain in the arse so we're just gonna get that wedge here you're just gonna wanna sort of finer grit so finer grit let's scrape that along there And so once you got it, you're going to want to basically tap it off. If you ever use a cheese grater, you should know. And you'll just want to spread it around because, you know, hopefully you didn't go do it off the edge too much. So it's going to mostly collect in the middle. Spread it around a little bit. There you go. Here's your manchego. So I'm putting on the hearts of romaine here. Prepackaged. Normally I would just... I cleaned it beforehand. It's good. Normally I would just, uh, I would just chop some up myself, but uh, it's lazy today. It's a lazy day. I'm hungry. I want to eat. And you, know, you don't want to be too skimpy with it. This is going to add our crunch. This is going to add our texture. And because we, we're not using iceberg lettuce, you know, we want to have a, a good amount of it. You know, I, I like a lot of, a lot of crunch and texture in my sandwich. You know, it makes me feel a little bit better about what I'm eating, but also it's just, you know, good in good practice. I've been blowing out the microphone, That's which is unfortunate. There we 
we go. So once you have that, all right, so here we're gonna add some baby spinach. It does add a little bit of crunch, but mostly what you're doing here is, is you're just, you're making it better, adding some padding, you know, more substance to the sandwich outside of all the meat I'm gonna be putting on there. <laughs> just gonna wanna sprinkle that on. And then of course, pat it down. And this is also gonna pat down the cheese as well. Uh, so you're not gonna have so much, you know, drip. And there you go. Finally, we're gonna add the meat. We're gonna start out with some of this prosciutto. I love me some prosciutto. Again, you wanna be, you don't wanna be liberal with this. You wanna be kind of, um, you, know, you wanna be careful. If you've ever used prosciutto, you should know that uh, too much is, it's rough. <laughs> you know, it's cured, it's very salty. So, there's part of the prosciutto. <laughs> the rest got stuck on the packaging. Just, we're not gonna fold it, we're just gonna layer it over, just like that. Oh, this is a not so aesthetically pleasing second piece. <sighs> Trying with the deli wrap here, but it's really just not cooperating. So next thing we're gonna do, uh, because the prosciutto is pretty sticky, we're gonna add some spices. First, start off with some pepper, obviously. Now, normally I would um, put this on the bread uh, with the oils, so it usually sticks to the oils, but um, I forgot. There's no real reason, I just forgot. We're gonna add some Italian seasoning. Great value, uh, as you can see it has majorum, oregano, thyme, rosemary, savory, basil and thyme. Or I mean thyme and sage. Just gonna sort of sprinkle that on there. And really any pre-mix of Italian seasoning will work here. There you go. And that's pretty much all. Don't add any salt. Your prosciutto is your salt. <laughs> unless you want your arteries to come apart in violent fashion. Now, <clears throat> this is where we put the meat of it, not just the prosciutto, the meat of it, and that is the ham. Now ham is a classic on any, on any uh, mayonnaise sandwich, you know. I, when I was younger, I would just have a ham and mayonnaise sandwich straight out on bread. No cheese. But uh, I have since honed my taste buds. You don't want to add too much, especially if it's as thickly cut as this is. It's thin cut, you know. Go ham! <laughs> but uh, in this case, we're just going to do that because that's enough. Um, really don't want to do too much, especially if it's kind of sweet like this is. I prefer thin cut, but you know, it's up to you, up to you, up to what you like. And now, one of the last parts, we're gonna put on the salami. Now, normally I probably wouldn't do this, um, unless I was already putting like other types of sausage meats on there. Um, but we only have a little bit left and I wanna try and use it up before it goes bad, so. And of course, it's not gonna hurt the flavor, you know, adding, adding that little bit of spice on there helps. Of course it goes well with the prosciutto and there. Again I wouldn't recommend putting that much salami on there but what are you gonna do? Here we're going to layer on a nice thin covering of Duke's mayonnaise and I've never tried Duke's before. This is my first time with Duke's um, and as I said I was inspired by LGR Foods and he uses Duke's a lot so I figured I would try. I just sl slather all my sandwiches in mayonnaise. Obviously, it's not going to be a dry sandwich because we have the olive oil and the um, and even though there's the, the prosciutto in there, it's you know it, it's not going to be dry. But um, still want to layer thick amount of mayonnaise on there. Now, if this is disgusting, now if this is making some of you slightly ill, you know I apologize, but. Um, this is just how I do it. There's lots of mayonnaise on there, layered on thick, perfect. Just like that. And now finally, just a little bit more manchego. Just a small bit more right here. 
on the nail on the top. So, that's the sandwich. It's um, quite large, it doesn't quite fit on the plate. Uh, again, I prefer more narrow bread for sandwiches like this. This is more like garlic bread bread, but um, well, let's try it. Here we go. I got most of the bread that time. I'm probably gonna have to try another bite. Too much bread. All right, there wasn't much I could do about that, but outside of that, it's pretty good. You can't quite taste the Dukes, at least not in this part. Maybe I think it gets a little thicker in the middle. Um, but something I did notice is the moment you hit the manchego, while it's good and the flavor is good, it sort of um, adds a I don't, don't want to say grittiness. It's not quite that like powdery to the um, to the texture of the sandwich, and I don't know if that's for everyone. I don't think it's the prosciutto. I don't even think I've hit the prosciutto yet. Um, and that's usually what throws... No, no, I did. So it, it's probably either for the prosciutto or the manchego. I've had it with... I've had that experience with both of those. Um, now, that's not every for everybody. I'm not a huge fan of it, but the flavor it, from the prosciutto and the manchego, obviously, is a bit too much or a bit... Um, it's a bit too good to overshadow... Uh, or it overshadows the problems I have with the texture there. Actually, I think I know what it was. It's neither of those. Um, I, I think it might have something to do with the manchego, probably a lot, but um, that mixed with the fact that I put the, I put a little bit too much olive oil on and uh, too soon in the process, it's sort of making the bottom soggy, mixed with the uh, sort of powderiness of the manchego. It's not quite, uh, it's not quite right, but again, it still tastes delicious. Just a bit of a texture thing. If you're particularly susceptible to texture like I am, then that's probably gonna bother you. But otherwise, it's pretty good. I'm gonna enjoy it. Assuming I can finish it, it's just like 90% bread, also with some massive sandwich. Here's a soda can for a comparison. I've already eaten some of it. Um, <laughs> so, now there you go. But uh, if you enjoyed this, thank you for watching. Um, if you didn't enjoy this, then I guess thank you for watching still. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, cheers.